is, um, I'm actually quite lost. I just left my husband to do work at a cafe and I'm going on a bookshop hunt. We decided very spontaneously to come to Brisbane um, and stay in a motel for a couple of nights because if we stay at home then we just do jobs so I didn't want to do that neither did he <laughs> I think I go this way oh god I'm off to find a um, bookshop called archives fine books which I've heard about heaps and just never been in the city to be able to go to it so yeah Welcome to a vlog hanging out in the city. out of that bookshop and it's like I was in there for hours <laughs> it's daylight maybe not hours but at least one I'm finding the next bookshop but I'm lost again so wish me luck oh I think I see it smashed it was beautiful it was packed but the books were so crazy expensive I'm such a used book buyer I think it's hard for me to buy used book uh, to buy new books now because they're $40 a book and some of the books that were $40 I've gotten at the second-hand bookstore and I know it's not supporting authors and I completely understand that but it all comes down to budget I think and the fact and, and, a, and a bit of waste issue that I have with it you know those books are out there people read them and then they move on and they clear out their libraries and they unhaul we all do that i think the cycle of books to me is more interesting than having the crisp clean shelves but that's just me so i don't know it's an interesting concept isn't that beautiful can i just hold you like this so i got two agatha fantanas this one i love them and that one how cool is that I love those covers so much. I got um, Slurry Gentile, never read any of her books. An Australian author, it's like cozy mystery stuff, isn't it? Um, yeah, set in like, sort of the Great Depression era in Australia, I think, 1930s. So, can't wait to read those actually. <gasps> I got this. Janet Frame's a New Zealand author and one of the 
you know, classic New Zealand authors, and I hardly read any New Zealand fiction, and I should. So, um, yeah, I saw this and it looked intriguing. I got, yeah, this is the short story collection by Maxine Benaber Clark. Did she write The Hate Race, was it called? Anyway, this is her short story collection that everybody loves, and I've been, yeah, this has definitely been on my radar for a really long time, so I cannot wait to read this. And the last one I got was a Thomas Hardy, which I don't have. What's this one? A Pair of Blue Eyes. I don't much like these covers, but this was... I only need to get three more Hardys to complete my collection, and this is one of them that I haven't been able to find anywhere, so yeah. This was that fabulous bookstore. If you're ever in Brisbane, oh, it was just a joy to be in there. And the people that worked there were just so wonderful and knowledgeable. I just had such a great time. Anyway, um, it's really noisy, isn't it? I'm not used to so much noise. I think we're gonna go for a swim now. All of that walking around the city has made me hot. We're still full from breakfast, so lunch might be a lovely late lunch with some nice wine, something like that. That'll be nice. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my togs on and get ready for a swim. Back in my reading room. Hello. All right, seriously, it's really nice to be home. It was a long drive. There was some sort of truck, convoy, memorial, beeping horns, waving along the highway situation. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, it was a wonderful time away. Really wonderful. I'm, you know, as with all trips, I'm more exhausted now than I was when I left, but I feel very um replenished is that a good word my reading didn't do too well though i focused on this i've probably got 200 pages left of this to go the story's great it's it's totally engaging really enjoy it so i'm gonna keep powering on with this i would like to finish it today <gasps> did i tell you i don't have any more kids for another three days i think well they come back on monday it's now saturday <sighs> Yep, they want to stay at their grandparents for longer. So who am I to say no to that? <laughs> yeah, love to get this finished today. I got a power on. I didn't read any of Tess, so I would like to finish that this before the kids get home too. Um, and I wanted to read some of this, some of the Kelly Gang, and some of Jane Eyre as well before the end of the weekend. So as always, I've got unrealistic expectations on what I can achieve, but I have no children. So yeah, these two to finish this weekend at the very least. Can I do it? We will see, we will see. I'm very tired. I think I'm gonna lie down with North and South and nod off. I'll see ya when I come out the other side of my nap. <laughs> okay, I have my nap. I um, have been and watched some football. The Wallabies are playing, they're kicking ass, they're beating Uruguay. Anyway, nobody cares about that but me, I'm pretty sure. Um, I read maybe a chapter before I fell asleep, if that. So yeah, I still have all of this to go. Um, it's five o'clock and I don't have to do anything and it just feels so nice. So I'm going to read till I get hungry and then work out what I'm going to do for dinner. Perfection! So, we're going to go out for dinner. I've read, I don't know, let's see where I'm up to. At 3.55, so another, I don't know, 30 or so pages. Not very much. I don't know if I'm going to finish this tonight, but we're going to go out for a yummy dinner. And, yeah, maybe I'll come home and finish it off then. Take these opportunities to go out for dinner when we have no children, huh? 
Okay, see you when I get home. Okay, we're home now. It's, oh, I think it's nine o'clock at night and I have this to read, but I had that big nap this afternoon, so I'm not too sleepy. I'd really, really like to get this done, so. I'm going to knuckle down, I'm going to sit in my reading chair, and I'm not going to leave until I get that finished. Or until I fall asleep while I'm reading. Let's see which one comes first. decide to turn on the camera when I look like shit. God, I've just finished gym. I had a step class and I nearly vomited. I had way too much fun in Brisbane. <laughs> um, right, so it's it's Sunday morning and as predicted I fell asleep last night and didn't, didn't finish North and South. I've read a little bit more this morning. I've got about a hundred pages to go. I've checked in with my buddy which was lovely. It was so nice to talk to Loretta again after so long. Um, yeah, so that happened this morning, but it's a long weekend here and there's a lot going on. There's lots of people around, there's lots of visitors and all that sort of stuff. So it's a football grand final today, you know, like just lot, lots going on. So I've, I've got to calm down on setting expectations for my reading. I did have three goals while the kids were away. They come back tomorrow. So I wanted to clean the house. I wanted to get the food sorted and I wanted to film some videos, I had four goals, and read. So if I can just tick off a few of those, I'll be happy. Right, gotta go grocery shopping. I'll talk to you when I'm like, my head's clearer, sorry. I just filmed my reaction to the booktube prize, which I completely missed. I thought I would get home in time, I don't know. Totally stuffed it up, so I didn't get to do the live thing, but I'm, I'm just pumped. So if you haven't seen it or don't know anything, which really, I, I can't, think that anybody would be watching me and not knowing about the booktube prize but Robert from Butterhood set it up and there's been a whole pile of judges and they voted the top three the third one was a place for us and if you've seen my seen my um previous vlogs I didn't like it too much but I knew there's lots of people love it the second was Happiness by Emanata Fauna which I was hoping was going to be first and um Robert said that that it was extremely close. And then the first was A Letter to the Sky, which is a book that I love, like just love. Um, it, yeah. So I'm, I'm totally happy that Happiness came second to such a fantastic book. I mean, it just kind of whittled it down. So even though I don't agree with the third place, I do like the, um, the top two, that's for sure. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. I said in my Insta stories that I'm just, I'm really connected to this prize because I, I discovered a constant hum in the readings prize, but all the other prize reading that I've read, I've done this year, I haven't found any real gems. And the booktube prize, I found happiness and I never would have read it otherwise. Um, and Emanata Fauna's writing is, is blows me away and I, and I want to read so much of hers. So yeah, I had a real connection to this prize because I discovered that book in it. So yeah, it's it's just um it's just all a bit of fun, but yeah, I I um I'm just really glad that I'm involved, and I'm just really glad that um I have these little things that make me so happy. Okay, I'm home now, but I cannot sit here. I need to actually achieve something today. I'm gonna put on some lunch. Um, do some washing you know the the drill I stink I need a shower from Jim I'll talk to you when I'm reading again hooray to little little book prize pleasures <laughs> gym I've torn a muscle and it woke up 
extremely sore this morning and I've cleaned the house and it's aggravated it and my husband just left to get our children but I couldn't have sat in the car at all for the couple of hours we would be in the car for four hours and that's just not possible so now I, I yeah bugger it really hurts see this is what exercise does to you right so my goals while my children were away were to clean my house which I've done and get their food ready for the week, which I haven't done. I didn't film any videos and I didn't read. Yesterday was a complete write-off. It was, um, yeah, it was a busy day. So, in the last few hours I have before the noise of my children arrives and before I just want to sit with them and hug them for the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to finish this. I just picked it up and there's my bookmark not in my book Ugh, so annoying so i'm gonna find out where i'm up to i'm i'm sure it's under 100 pages it's not much to go and at least i can finish one book in this vlog Ugh, so stuffed this reading program up already anyway i'm just gonna relax for a bit I'm in the wars. <laughs> super hot here so we just went for a lovely swim it's so nice having them around um but i'm going i need to finish this book today this is dragging on isn't it i'll go and get the book i'll sit in here and i'll just knock it out okay it's like five in the afternoon i have to finish it today <laughs> okay i'll see you in a sec i finished it i did it it's maybe 9 30 at night I had to do dinner and the kids and things like that and then I just sat down and got stuck into it and I'm so glad I did. This ending was amazing. It was so well wrapped up. Um, I don't know. It's, you know, there's lots to say about this book. None that I can really string together at 9.30 at night after a really big day. Awesome look at industrialised England, at... Um, the union movement, so great social commentary on the difference between how high society in London lives compared to high society in, in an industrialised city. There was a, a character who, you know, opened up to a more um, compassionate way of employing people, which was um, a really great growth to see in that character. Um, our main character, Margaret, was just... It was just so strong and awesome and I just, I really love this book. This is five stars for sure. I was just saying to my buddy Loretta that Wives and Daughters holds a really special place because it's my first Gaskell, but this is, this is just as good for sure. It takes a little bit longer to get into, I think, but it's, it's pacey and it's compelling and it's interesting and it makes your heart happy. All of the things. Highly recommend. Anyway, I finally did it. I finally finished one book, so I'm going to finally finish this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next vlog.